The union representing some 1,600 flight crew at WestJet and subsidiary Swoop have issued a 72-hour strike notice, which could begin on Friday, May 19. This means that the workers could walk off the job if they don't reach a new collective agreement with the company by then. The strike could affect thousands of passengers who use London Airport, as WestJet operates several flights to and from the city every day. The union says that the main issues are wages, benefits, and working conditions. They claim that the company has not been bargaining in good faith and has been trying to impose concessions on the workers. The company says that it has been offering fair and competitive proposals and that it is committed to reaching a deal that works for both sides. If the strike happens, it could cause significant disruptions and delays for travelers at London Airport. The airport advises passengers to check their flight status before heading to the airport and to contact WestJet or Swoop for any changes or cancellations. The airport also says that it is working with other airlines and partners to minimize the impact of the potential strike on its operations and customers. The strike could affect hundreds of flights across Canada, including new routes from London International Airport to Abbotsford B and Edmonton Alta that are scheduled to launch on Friday. These routes are part of WestJet's expansion plan to connect more Canadians with domestic destinations amid the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the pilots' union has issued a 72-hour strike notice, which means they could walk off the job as early as 3 a. On Friday unless a deal is reached with the airline. The main issues in the contract negotiations are job protection, pay and scheduling. The union says it wants to secure a contract that will fix many of the airline's labor problems and make it a career destination for pilots once again. The airline says it wants an agreement that is competitive within Canada's airline industry. The strike could have a significant impact on travelers who have booked flights with WestJet or its subsidiary Swoop for the May long weekend. The airline says it will refund or reaccommodate affected guests as applicable. However, travelers may face higher fares or limited availability if they have to switch to another carrier at the last minute. The strike could also hurt the recovery of the London International Airport, which has seen a sharp decline in passenger traffic due to the pandemic. The airport's president and CEO says he is concerned about the potential disruption and hopes that both sides will find a way forward before Friday.